Top 10 Fastest Pagani Supercars It was from an early age that Horacio Pagani developed his interest in sports cars and set out to pursue a career in the automotive industry. This Argentine-Italian engineer began his career early. Born in 1955, he finished building his first F2 racer by 1979, when he was in his early 20s. We are going to look at the 10 fastest Italian cars ever made. We will look at their top speeds, how much power they have, how much some of them cost, and why they are so rare or expensive. 10. 2009 Pagani Zonda Sync Roadster, 217 miles per hour. As a limited production road legal car, there were only five Zonda Sync Roadsters ever produced. The frame was made of carbon titanium and the car used a Mercedes-Benz AMG V12 naturally aspirated engine that put out 678 horsepower and 575 pound-feet of torque. The exhaust system was made from Incanel and titanium, a Pagani exclusive design. The Sync Roadster had a sequential six-speed transmission and adjustable suspension, allowing some room for comfort should the driver desire. It reached a top speed of 217 miles per hour, a feat in itself, but Pagani would achieve much more in the coming years. Nevertheless, it is worth pointing out that more than gunning for top speed records, Pagani sports cars are more about overall performance and dynamic composure even when racing at speeds superior to 200 miles per hour. 9. 2020 Pagani Zonda Revolution, 217 miles per hour. The Zonda Revolution is presented by the brand as the revolution in their concept of art applied to speed. Pagani never really strayed away from the passion of Italians for designing beautiful sports cars. Taken as pieces of art, Pagani always tried to create an amalgamation between beauty and performance functionality in its designs. The Revolution is a car Horatio and his team developed that could either be admired on the track or in a private collection. It was not road legal and despite having the 6.0-liter V12 now outputting 800 and tipping the scales at 2,359 pounds, the aerodynamic bodywork had to generate a lot of downforce to ensure it went fast around the track limiting its top speed potential. The Zonda Revolution is also claimed to hit the 217 miles per hour mark. 8. 2002 Pagani Zonda S, 220 miles per hour. One of the original supercars made by Pagani, the first being the Zonda C12 which debuted at the Geneva Motor Show back in 1999, the Pagani Zonda S had to make a statement, and that it did. The Zonda S featured a 7.30-liter V12 from Mercedes-AMG with a maximum power output of 555 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque at 4,050 rpm. But at only 2,000 rpm this engine was already making 457 pound-feet of torque. These numbers are pretty impressive today, and they were staggering back in 2002. The Bugatti Veyron was available at the time with its quad-turbo W16 engine making 1,000 horsepower. But that was a car conceived for top speed. The Ferrari Enzo, which was launched in 2002 as well is a more suited supercar to compare to the Zonda S. The Enzo, in fact, was considered by some the first hypercar. It was light, RWD, and its screaming V12 engine made 651 horsepower. It was more than the Zonda S, but it came at higher revs, and it made less torque too at only 485 pound-feet. The Pagani Zonda S was rumored to reach the 2020 miles per hour mark. 7. 2017 Pagani Zonda Barchetta, 221 miles per hour. Horacio Pagani SPA has made some ultra limited production vehicles. One such vehicle that had a production run of only three models was the Zonda Barchetta. Even then, one of the people fortunate, as in prosperous, enough to buy one actually had a run-in with a bit of bad luck and managed to crash this almost priceless car. 
The Barchetta is said to have been a tailor-made car by Pagani and his team for Horacio Pagani himself. The Barchetta took the 1999 Zonda's original design and reinterpreted it with state-of-the-art craftsmanship and material technology from 2017. This bold, three-of-a-kind car is seen by the company as a reinvention of a masterpiece. It represents Horacio Pagani's own interpretation of a collector's car. 6. 2018 Pagani zoned at 760 Ether Roadster, 223 miles per hour. Another limited production car from Pagani, this time a one-off model, the Pagani zoned a 760 Ether Roadster had an estimated top speed of 223 miles per hour. To that end, the car featured a Mercedes AMG tuned 7.3 liter naturally aspirated V12 that made 760 horsepower. Inspired by the other limited production Pagani Zonda Sync Roadster, Sync is Italian for 5, the 760 Ether Roadster's main differences from the Sync are in how much power it makes, its unique color, and small differences in the aerodynamic aids. Back in 2019, this one-of-a-kind hypercar was put on auction for $5.5 million. One has to wonder how much it should be worth nowadays with the era of the ICE coming to an end. The Ether showcased Pagani's one-of-one -one philosophy where a small team of engineers can pour all their expertise and passion for sports cars into one highly tailored package as if they were creating unique works of art. 5. 2016 Pagani Huayra Hermes Edition, 224 miles per hour. Based on the Pagani Huayra, which was developed after the Zonda, the Hermes edition was another limited production model that featured an exclusive interior by the Paris company that lent its name to the car and a hand-built engine signed by the technician in charge at AMG. This was the same engine featured on the Huayra, which was a 6.0-liter twin-turbo V12 that made 750 horsepower and 735 pound-feet of torque. The Hermes edition also shared the same 7-speed sequential gearbox from the base Huayra. What set it apart the most was the luxurious interior and color choice, also complements from Hermes. Some other differentiating details such as laser-cut grills were present. This one had an estimated top speed of 224 miles per hour. For 2012 Pagani Huayra Carbon Edition, 230 miles per hour. For the production of the Huayra Carbon Edition, Pagani used all its knowledge from the use of carbon fiber on other Zonda models and took it a step further. The Carbon Edition featured extensive use of carbon fiber for reduced weight. The whole body used it, as well as the wheels and interior trim. Another material, carbitanium, a combination of carbon composite with a titanium alloy was used on the chassis and suspension. This exquisite combination used by Pagani results in a strong, light, heat, and stain-resistant material that is perfect for its supercars. The Huayra Carbon Edition was unveiled back in 2012 alongside the White Edition, and it reached a top speed of 230 miles per hour. 3. 2022 Pagani Huayra Cotolunga, 230 miles per hour. Pagani claims only five Huayra Cotolunga were ever made. All five are sold out with prices starting at about $7.7 .7 million. The inspiration for its creation came from a union of aspirations from customers and designers. It was tailor-made at Pagani Grandi Complicazioni, big complications in English the company's dedicated division for special projects. The name of this division is an inside trivia to one of Horacio Pagani's design philosophies. Finding simple solutions for big problems. In 2018, two old-time Pagani customers asked Horacio to make a long-tail version of the Huayra Coupe with the goal of creating a supercar that boasted an elegant, more streamlined design. The clients collaborated closely with the Pagani Grandi Complicazioni team in a big undertaking to make these bespoke beautiful beasts. The Cotolunga is estimated to be able to reach the same top speed as the Carbon Edition from 10 years prior. 2. 
2011 Pagani Huayra, 238 miles per hour. First launched in 2011, the Pagani Huayra borrow its name from a legend. Huayra Tata, god of wind permeated the Andean highlands with blizzards and storms. When the god slept, the elements remained calm. But as the saying goes, there is a calm before the storm. And when the Huayra awakens, the storm surely comes. Perhaps based on this ethos, Pagani tuned the original Huayra to reach as high a top speed as it possibly could. Some sources place it at the 230 miles per hour mark, but others claim it was able to reach 238 miles per hour. This pretty much placed it behind only the Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport, 267 miles per hour, for the fastest streetcar in the world at the time. The key difference is that the Huayra performed much better around a twisty track. 1. 2021 Pagani Huayra R, 240 miles per hour. The Huayra R is a track-only car. Naturally, without the usual street-compliant restrictions, it outperforms its base model. This track variant is rumored to reach a staggering 240 miles per hour top speed. Its engine, a naturally aspirated V12 outputs 850 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, and it redlines at 9,000 RPM. Pagani also considers this version a sort of test car that will help shape the performance of future Pagani models. It has a limited production of 30 units and a base price starting at around $2.9 million, plus tax. This track monster produces 2,204 pounds of downforce at 199 miles per hour and maintains an even split 46% front and 54% back distribution of its aerodynamic downforce throughout all speeds. The car also has a minimum track-oriented ground clearance to maximize aerodynamic performance. I hope to inspire you and help you learn more about your favorite theme. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think.